The Kenyan flag is based on that of the Kenyan African National Union. The color black symbolizes the black majority. The red stands for the blood shed during the struggle for freedom. And the green stands for the Lyanisty. The black, red, and white traditional Maasai shield and two spears symbolize the defense of all the things mentioned. Kenya is one of six East African countries with a population of a little over 43 million people. Kenya is slightly more than twice the size of Nevada. Nairobi is the largest city in the capital of Kenya. This is where the Gospel Harvest Ministries is based. The population of Nairobi is approximately 3 million and with an elevation of 5,450 feet above sea level because of Mount Kenya. While tourism is their largest foreign exchange earnings sector, they do have exports of tea, coffee, and flowers. Corn or maize is their major food staple. 53% of the population lives below the poverty level. This poverty exacerbates the health problems of the poor. Their biggest illnesses include malaria, HIV AIDS, pneumonia, diarrhea, and malnutrition. Even though they have public schools, you have to pay for uniforms, supplies, and any other fees they can come up with. For example, they charge fees for their exams. If you haven't eaten in a few days, how can you afford to even go to public school? While Kenya has many different religions, the top two are Islam with only 11.2% of the population while 83% have a Christian faith. Founded in 2002, Gospel Harvest Ministries was registered with the government of Kenya as a non-political and non-profit organization. The intention of this ministry is to gather together in fellowship and worship, sharing the word of God and salvation. GHM presents a common and non-denominational form for all believers to worship, serve, and receive together in the spirit and truth in one accord. It is devoid of denominational dogmas and bigotry to the intent that God in His love and mercy may stretch forth His hands to heal, deliver, save, restore, work signs and wonders in the name of His Son Jesus, and as the Holy Spirit moves in our midst in demonstrative power. The school has a mixture of old and new equipment. While new chairs are purchased, they are in need of new tables. Miss Ruth, for example, had to use her knees to hold up her table as she worked. Kathy, using hardware she brought with her, spent one afternoon repairing that table. She ran out of hardware, so Ace Hardware in Mishawaka sent her an additional $100 worth of hardware to help her with repairing other tables. Here Kathy's passing out pencils to the students, but what good is a pencil without a sharpener? Well, Kathy takes care of that. Of course, Lorna gets the fun job of sharpening all 70 pencils. Feeding mind and soul is only part of the mission. Feeding the bodies of these young people is also important, as KCA provides each child with two meals a day, instead of the one meal every few days they were accustomed to. While in Kenya to partner with Bishop Wino, Team Alliance came bearing donated gifts. The young girls got new dresses made from pillowcases by the women's group from the Northwest United Methodist Church of South Bend. The boys weren't forgotten. They received t-shirts and shorts as well. Of course, life isn't always work. Here Kathy gets in touch with her inner child and enjoys the games the kids love to play. No video required. It's rated E for everyone. A workday does come along and Kathy pitches in to help in replacing the floor of the sanctuary.
It's hard work for everyone, but in the end, they are blessed with a job well done. Bosom of Abraham, rock my soul in the bosom of Abraham, rock my soul in the bosom of Abraham, oh, rock my soul. Yeah!